Hello there and welcome, I'm Bob Proctor. I was doing a seminar recently that our creative director happened to be in, Tommy Collier. He saw me make a presentation, he said, Bob, that information is gold. He said, you've got to put that on a video and we can put it online, share it with anyone and everyone anywhere in the world. He said it would change a lot of lives and it would solve an enormous problem for a lot of people. So here I am, and this is the presentation. Now, there's a fair amount of information here, so I would recommend that you get a notepad and a pen, and you jot the notes down as we go along. You may want to watch this a few times and let it really sink into your mind. It's very valuable information. Do you know, this year is the start of 59 years that I'll be in this business. For 58 years, I've been working at studying one subject, now, even if you're a little slow, you're going to learn a lot over 58 years. And the subject I've been studying was me. And as I know me, I know you better. You see, we are all the same. We're God's highest form of creation. We have a marvelous mind. We live in a physical body and we correspond with the material world. We can create the kind of life we want. We are God's highest form of creation. The only two sources of reference that you have to go to to find anything about yourself, both clearly indicate that. One's science and the other's theology. And they both make that very, very clear. We are truly the highest form of creation on the planet. All the other little creatures on the planet are completely at home in their environment. They blend in. You and I are the only creature on the planet that's totally disoriented in our environment. And that is because we've been given the mental faculties to create our own environment. We truly can create the kind of life we want. Now, unfortunately, not all this information that we're sharing, we learn in school. We just don't learn it in school. And if we don't learn it at home, odds are pretty good we don't learn it at all. And many people go right through their life and never understand what I'm going to explain to you. This is without question, valuable information. Now, I began to study this many years ago, and when I started to learn about a subject, anxiety, that many, many people suffer from, I came to the conclusion there's no need of a person being in a state of anxiety. Now, there's all kinds of people taking drugs today to ease this problem that they're experiencing. I'm going to show you that as a person starts to understand how their marvelous mind operates, they can eliminate anxiety and replace it with something much more beautiful. You and I have the ability to do that. Now, the graph I'm going to show you, or the drawing I'm going to show you, I learned many, many years ago. And as I'll mention again, it is without question the most valuable idea I have ever learned. I'm going to talk to you about the mind and about paradigms. See, paradigms are ideas that are fixed in our mind and cause us to keep operating the same way. And if we don't change the paradigm, nothing changes. So let's look at your mind and your paradigm. Now, when it comes to this, not many people really understand it very well. You can go to psychiatrists, psychologists, behavioral scientists, and they will give you a lot of information, but you may not understand what they're giving you. There was a doctor back around 1934 in San Antonio, Texas, and he, um, he was very involved in the healing arts, and he was very involved in metaphysics, in anything beyond the physical. And he said, you know, one of our great problems is we're treating symptoms all the time. We're treating effects. We're not going to the cause of problems. We always work from a higher to a lower potential, from the mind to the body. The body is a physical manifestation of the mind. And he made that very, very clear. And he said, one of our great problems is no one's ever seen the mind. And yet we operate with images in our mind. So when anybody talks about the mind, they don't get a picture. Now, many people get a picture of the brain when they talk about the mind. But the brain is not the mind any more than your fingernail is. The brain, as magnificent as it is, is an electronic switching station. As you think you activate brain cells, alter the vibration your body or parts of your body may be in. Now, anxiety is a vibration, and it's not a very healthy one. It's a very destructive one. So I think as we start to understand some of the laws and understand how the mind works, 
we're way ahead of the game. So I'm going to share with you what a good doctor shared with me many, many years ago. And I have taught this all over the world now for a long, long time. Some of the change that I've seen take place in people's mind is mind boggling. Their lives have been altered like night and day as they start to understand the mind starts how it, see how it operates. Now this good doctor, Dr. Thurman Fleet, he said, no one's ever seen the mind, so I'm gonna draw a picture of the mind. And he made this drawing. Now, I will mention on many occasions and have in the past, this is the most valuable drawing I have ever seen. The large circle is gonna represent the mind and the small circle will represent the body. Now we'll take the mind and we'll divide into two parts and we'll say the top half is the conscious mind, the bottom half is the subconscious mind, and the little circle is the body. Now, it's like I said, this is without question the most valuable idea I've ever learned. You see, what it does, it brings order to your mind. So instead of dealing with just confusion, now you've got order. Now I'm going to teach you something here that is very, very valuable. The conscious mind has the ability to choose. The subconscious mind does not have that ability. And whatever ideas operate in the mind are expressed through the body. The body is the instrument of the mind. Now I can't get into this in the depth that I want to because the time doesn't allow me to do that. We do teach a lot of this in all of our programs. And if you find this of interest, you may want to look into some of the programs that we do conduct because they're, they're very liberating and they change people's lives. Now there's the drawing and I want you to imagine that there's a power flowing into your consciousness. This power flows to and through us and it never stops. Now when the power flows into our consciousness, we could call it thought power if you choose, you can think anything you want. You can think anything you want. No one can cause you to think something you don't want to think. Viktor Frankl spent the war years in a concentration camp. He was a Viennese psychiatrist. He wrote a marvelous book, Man's Search for Meaning, and it was on logotherapy. And he said, regardless of the intellectual or physical abuse he was subjected to, no one could cause him to think something he didn't want to think. Now, whatever thoughts you think, you turn over to your subconscious mind. But the subconscious mind is programmed. And again, I'm sorry, we don't have the time to get into paradigms the way we'd like to, but it is programmed. What we want to do is learn how to control the flow of this energy. We want to learn how to control the flow of thought energy and let it flow freely to and through us, improving everything with which it connects. You see, we're really in charge of our results. The results that we get in our life can be altered without any difficulty. Now, I keep apologizing for not being able to go into this in the depth I want to, but as I give you this concept, I want you to pay very close attention because on a conscious level, you have a choice. You see those two symbols, one's negative, one's positive. Now, if we just back this up a bit, there is the power flowing in. You can think anything you want. You can choose to think of what you don't want or you can choose to think of what you do want. You can look at what's wrong with life or you can look at what's right with it. You do have a choice. That power, you can build it into anything you choose. Unfortunately, most people stay in an ignorant state. They never really understand themselves. Now, ignorance is simply not knowing. The opposite of ignorance, of course, is knowledge. Knowledge is readily available to us. Libraries are full of knowledge. Seminars today just dispense all kinds of knowledge. Some of it's very valuable, some of it may not be. But there's a lot of knowledge around about you, about what makes you tick and why you live the way you live. Now we have a choice and we can choose whatever we want. You can choose to think of what's wrong or you can choose to think of what's right. Why would a person choose to worry and doubt? Well, if we back it up, the problem is ignorance. That is really the problem. They don't understand the situation. See, doubt and worry are both psychic diseases. It's plugged into a negative side of life. This power flows in, you can build anything out of it you want, and what do we do? We worry. Why do we worry? Well, there's not enough money to meet our needs, or the things might not turn out the way we choose. We've got the ability to choose anything we want. Now, when we build a negative idea, and that's what we're doing, we're taking the, uh, this power and building a negative idea, we take then impress that negative idea upon our subconscious mind. The subconscious is the emotional mind. 
So we're getting emotionally involved with a negative idea. That sets up a vibration called fear. Fear is a negative emotion. The cause of it, the primary cause is ignorance, but the, the root cause then is worry or doubt. Now when that fear is expressed, and it must be expressed through the body. See, it comes in, it has no form, we build an idea, a negative idea, and we impress it, that sets up fear, and when it expresses it, it expresses itself in anxiety. People do not enjoy anxiety, it causes all kinds of problems. Anxiety is not expressed, anxiety is suppressed. It's suppressed. What happens when we suppress anxiety, when we bottle that energy up inside? It turns into depression, that's what happens. So you see, anxiety is the cause of depression, but it's not the primary, it's not the initial cause. The initial cause, of course, is ignorance, and then we go to worry and doubt, then to fear, anxiety, suppress the anxiety, and it turns into depression. That depression turns into disease. That's a body that's not at ease. We get uptight. We suppress negative energy. The body starts to break down, disease, and then it moves to disintegration. Now pay attention to that side, because the root cause of it is ignorance. As you study this with us, you're going to eliminate that ignorance. And we're going to eliminate the ignorance but with knowledge. So let's go back now. Faith based on understanding is the key to freedom. Let's suppose a person's locked into this side of life. They seem to worry about everything and anything. They're suffering from anxiety. They suffer. They suffer from depression. Why? It's because of the choosing the wrong thoughts and it's caused by ignorance. They just don't simply understand. Faith based on understanding is truly the key to freedom. You know, a wise king many years ago, Solomon, he said, in all you're getting, get understanding. How do we get that? We get it by moving over onto the other side. We move over on the other side. Understanding is the opposite of doubt and worry. Now, there's only one way to get understanding. There is no other way, and that's through study. You study this video. Go over it and over it and over it, and you'll start to see this is, this is really an answer to an enormous problem. Not just one problem, many problems. Study. What do we want to understand? Well, you have those two symbols, the negative and the positive. That represents a law of polarity. Polarity is the law that decrees everything has an opposite. There's no up without a down, no hot without a cold. So you see, in every negative there is a positive, but we must understand it's there, or we'll never even look for it. When we understand it's there, then we're away to the races. But the only way to get to it is through study. Understanding leads to the opposite of fear, which is faith. Now here's the strange thing. Both fear and faith demand that we believe in something that we cannot see. Both fear and faith demand that we believe in something that we cannot see. Think of it for a moment. What did fear do? Fear manifests in anxiety. What's faith manifest in? Well-being. Well-being. You're seeing a person that's very relaxed, they're very cool, they're happy, they're healthy. There's something wonderful in their life, and it starts with their own thinking. You see, all down through history, all the great leaders have been in complete unanimous agreement on one point. We become what we think about. Well, why would a person choose to stay over in that ignorant side? That's the why, because they're ignorant. They don't know. You see, when I was a little child, I was raised to believe that people that were rude were ignorant. Well, people that were rude may be ignorant, but being rude and being ignorant are two different things. They say they're just so ignorant. No, they're rude. Everyone's ignorant. Everyone is ignorant. No one knows everything. All the knowledge there ever was or ever will be is available to us. But we're going to have to study to get it. And the beautiful part about this, when you eliminate the ignorance, you, you get understanding. The understanding leads to faith and faith leads to well-being. Now, where, where the, uh, the anxiety is suppressed, well-being is expressed. You see, it's almost the polar opposite with everything. In fact, it is the polar opposite of everything. The expression turns to acceleration. And that is because we're at ease. You see, the at ease is the polar opposite to disease. The body's at ease. It's vibrating in perfect harmony with the laws of the universe. This is such a phenomenal subject. 
and it's one that anyone can study and everyone should study, then that turns to creation. Remember the other side turns to disintegration. People just break down, break down when they're in disease. When they're at ease, they get stronger, it's creation. Now we have a choice, we can go with that or we can go with that. But it is our choice. Which side are we gonna lock into? I think this is the side that we really want to understand. I think you do and I think I do. And you know, I want to encourage you to watch this video at least a hundred times. Get your friends to watch it. Anyone you see suffering from anxiety, get them to watch it. Rather than run to the drugstore, get them to run to their own marvelous mind. Get them to get into studying something really worthwhile. Our company has been teaching this information for many, many years. I recommend you go and take a look at what we do. Just go to proctorgallagher.com. Study with us. We have some wonderful programs. And you know something? Every one of them is about you. It helps you understand you better. When I began to study this, I had no money. I was flat broke. I was unhealthy. I had gone to school, high school for two months. I was 26 years old. And a man convinced me there was something in me that was way beyond anything I would ever understand. And he said, if you start studying you, you can have anything you want. Well, you know, today, I have a pretty wonderful life. I have a company that operates all over the world. I sat down many years ago and I wrote out that I would have a company that operates all over the world. We have a company that operates all over the world. We help millions of people. I hope we've just helped you. I want to suggest you watch this video over and over and over again. Get your friends to watch it. It's free, it doesn't cost a cent. And if you want to go further, then study with us. Go to our site, proctorgallagher.com, and let us share some really great information. This is Bob Proctor. Thank you. And I want to thank Tommy Collier for suggesting I make this video for you.